working on this PowerPoint. All right, I'm gonna be dealing with the first school in America. And the first school in America was the Boston Latin School. Right. According to National Geographic, the Boston Latin School was established in 1635 and was the first school in what is now the United States. Although it has changed locations, the public school is still operating today. That's a drawing of it. All right. background info goes on to say on April 23rd 1635 pay attention to these dates because I'm going to be paying attention to them on April 23rd 1635 the first public school in what would become the United States was established in Boston Massachusetts known as the Boston Latin School this boys only public secondary school was led by schoolmaster Philemon Pormont, a pure written settler. The Boston Latin School was strictly for college preparation. It was modeled after the Free Grammar School of Boston, England. The English school taught Latin and Greek. That's the boss that's the school from Boston, England that taught Latin and Greek and was centered on the humanities. Some of the Boston Latin School's most well known alumni include John Hancock. Samuel Adams, right, and Benjamin Franklin was a dropout. Uh, 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 that's what National Geographic says. The Boston Latin School is still a fully functioning public school with students enrolled in grades 7 through 12. However, it has changed with time, becoming co educational in 1972 and moving locations several, several times. It is now in Boston's Fenway neighborhood. Admission to Boston Latin is very competitive and is limited to residents of the city. Alright, so this school was established in 1635. Right? Um, Wikipedia when they talk about Boston Latin School, they say, again, founded in 1635, and it's both the first public school, right, and oldest existing school in the United States, right? First public school. Let's just click that into another link real quick. All right, and you got it listed there. That's the Boston Latin School, the oldest public high school in the United States because now it's a high school, right? Now, it's gonna get interesting. when we start backtracking because remember this is um, Boston 1635 but let's look at the school that it was based on the school that it was based on was called what the Boston or the Free Grammar School of Boston, England. Right. It's a selective grammar school and sixth.
Reform College for boys age 11 to 18 and girls attending the 6th form age 16 to 18. Sixth form. The school was founded by charter of Philip, who was the king of Spain, Spaniard, right? King of Portugal, Spain, King of Naples and Sicily. She was all over there, Rome and everything. And Jure Uxoris, King of England and Ireland. He was also Duke of Milan from 1540. From 1555, he was Lord of the 17 provinces of the Netherlands. Alright. So this is the tie in Spain and the, the Netherlands and England. Right. The school was founded by the charter of Philip and Mary. Mary the First, also known as Mary Tudor and as Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary used to say that shit in the dark in the mirror by her Protestant opponents was Queen of England and Ireland from July 1553 until her death in 1558. All right. The oldest sections of the school were built in 1567. Formerly referred to as the quote big school end quote and is now used as the school library. South End site became the model for the Boston Latin School, which was the first school in what was to become the United States of America. The school still retains its Latin motto, Floriette Bostona, may Boston flourish. Right? <clears throat> Let's go on down to Massachusetts, right, where this was happening. Who founded Massachusetts Bay Colony? Massachusetts Bay Colony was founded by the Massachusetts Bay Company during the Great Puritan Migration. All right, the Massachusetts Bay Company. the Massachusetts Bay Company Hold on, I gotta see if this stuff is even recording Let me step back Let me step back Let me see what we got going on here 